out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a there's a jungle out. There's a jungle out. There's a jungle out. There's a jungle out. There's a there's a jungle out. 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 There's
He said he was so, he, I mean, he was scared. He was scared. He was scared for his safety. And he said that, he said, Ian, I never experienced anything like that, boy. He said, just tell this guy from the diplomatic community here. Yeah? You know? And it's just terrible. It's just terrible, 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 terrible. And that is what people face every day. You know what somebody said to me, and I want to make something clear to you on this show today. I don't like Bacchanal, but I, will, but I, will, I will confront you. I will confront you. I am a customer confrontation. I am the kind of guy who will confront you, and I will give you a piece of my mind. And maybe I wire up differently. I wire up that I don't, I'm not intimidated by people. I'm just not intimidated. And over the years, ladies and gentlemen, we have, I have dealt with so many hardcore criminals. I was, you know, so many persons who have been murdered, who, who, persons who were held for murder. There's nobody in Trinidad that has ever done it like that. Nobody, nobody. You have seen people talk, but no action. But we're talking about talking and giving you action. And we continue, and that is why I, I in my mind, in my mind, in my mind, you can't intimidate me. You can't frighten me. You can't call me from the prison and tell me you're coming to hot up my head. No, you can't do me that. You can't do me that because I will trip. I will. I different. I just wire up different. I just wire up different. I just wire up different. And when when persons speak down to me, and and feel that they you know they could wrong because they have a little position. Recently, in the last few days, we're dealing with someone like that, and I said, boy, this person don't know I different, and I just different. I know intimidated because you gain a little money and you have a little rank and you know I just ask you to do something for me and you know you, you have to do it. It's not a matter you don't want to do it, you have to do it. Because that's what you're paid for. But you know, it's just persons when they feel they're in a position and they get older and they feel that, you know, that's all there. People like to rank, you know, like you know, that hmm, they just saw them again about five, six thousand a month. I know if I some people gain small money, but but they just have people who feel that Wow, unbelievable. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, and that is why I tell you today that I do business. I do business. I do business. I do business. Look, you, you see right where that guy was shot? Let me tell you the lawlessness in this country. Eh? The lawlessness in this country. You see right, right on Friday where that guy was shot? Bring back that video. He was shot on Friday. Right opposite there, there is a, a place right opposite that, right where that guy sh was shot. I don't know why NLCB can't go after persons with who have Ill Ill ga gambling machines on the walls and whatnot. It is craziness because there are persons who outside, they are paying taxes. There are people who are paying taxes. And these persons and members of the Chinese community think that they could do that and like they do, like they do business. But we nationals, we Trinbegonians have to pay taxes. We have to pay taxes if we have a, a gaming machine. And we're paying it. We are paying it. We can't make a mistake and get our next machine in our bar. We will get a mashup. And yet they're opening places and just running illegal, 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 illegal gambling machines. And our security by the door, you swear some licensed casino outside there, right where the guy was shot. Right where the guy was shot there. You have the video? It is no permission no permission no permission no permission just in that vicinity so we want persons to know that persons have already contacted us and it's going to it you know they will they will do what they have to do they will do what they have to do they will do what they have to do they will do what they have to do. You, you just can't, I mean, people paying tax. You have a lotto machine. You have a playway machine. And yet there are persons who have, as they say, bush playway. And, we, and, you, and, you, and people just leave in them. We're just leave in them. And I, I, do, I don't understand why you can't confront these people and them. Why the minister, so people, gunman come and shooting people, people living in fear, just as I said. Your home is your castle. You imagine in your castle as a king, you don't even have a, you don't even have a, a, a guard. You feel so fearful in your own castle. And no matter what that is, I didn't say a literal castle, but your home is your castle. Whether it has two governors, whether it has three governors, whether it have a fence, whether you don't have a fence, your home is your castle. Everybody's home is their castle. 
And you might, sometimes you might feel that them people household, I was watching a little video with some people in our, in our house, a little old board house, a little board house. Boy, and then people making joke and they making video and the husband, I know that the husband or she man or something, right? but two of them cooking and they're, they're having fun, they're having drinks, he's singing, she dancing. Boy, and I say, look at them, yeah, boy, look at them. And them are, it, it's a worrying them to post up all that because they're happy. They're happy at the end of the day. They're happy. They're happy. And that's why everybody castle, everybody home is their castle. And when you feel scared in your castle, it's sad. And I don't think that the, the, the Minister of Education, either the Prime Minister, have the testicular fortitude to really deal with criminals. They can't. They don't have it. They don't have it in them. They just don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have that. They don't have what it takes. You take a monster to go after a monster. In the police service, I don't want to call no name, but have persons, I can could, I could tell you flat, who are real belly, who are belly, who have belly. It have persons I could call and say, them different boy, them are belly, them police are belly. Not everybody, I mean, look at also, I'm speaking about police, a police officer died in Chagor, who was uh, uh, attached to Chagor and has passed away. Very, very sad. He's been identified as, um, Uh, Siratan. Stern. Siratan. Officer Siratan. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. And then, and then there's a next photograph with some policeman and some. <laughs> Boy, I didn't want to go there. Let's leave it right there. Some policeman who interfered with a, a, a child. Yeah. He appeared before the Shagona's magistrate yesterday. Penetration, yeah? Penetration. Don't boast it, leave it. Penetration. In Shogunas Magistrate. So there's all kind of crazy thing going on. All kind of crazy thing going on. But as long as we leave this thing, you see, we leave in this thing, we just leave in this thing to run, just run. It's, this is like a virus. We're just leaving it to take its course. If it go here, if it go Kuva, if it go Shogunas, if it go San Fernando, if it go Arima, if it go Endeavor, wherever it go and kill people, we'll just leave it. Whenever I done it done, no, we can't be like that. We have to go after them. You have to go after them. You have to go after them. You have to go. You have to pursue them. You have to. You have, you have, watch me. They must get tired. They must get fed up by you. They must just have to be after them. You have to do it. You have to see more police exercise, more roadblock, more police exercise by in every community. See, how recently a man was curling and he called the show and he said, "Oh, he in lunch park and police asking the way he go, where he go in and this and that." And he's he's out, he. He lunch park and lunch park. Nobody better than nobody know around in this time. We, there is an exercise, and you will you will, you, will, you will speak to the police. Will ask you where you're going. Is that a matter you from lunch park? Same treatment lunch park again. Same treatment the beta matter get. Same treatment Ari matter get. It, 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 no, nobody are better than nobody because our community right now because everybody is affected by crime. Everybody. We live in an atmosphere of crime. So it's our one area here and one. No 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 no. Anywhere, anywhere they could strike, and that is why they have to be smoked out. That is why they have, you have to go after them. You have to go after them. I sit down every day and just think, think. Like somebody was telling me today about, anyhow, I don't want to say it. I have some information, I think that I have, to, I have to talk to senior superintendent Smith, and we go in, we go in, we go in. And persons who, again, who sending guns and sending drugs to Trinidad via whatever. Avenue, don't beat up. That is all I could tell you. That is all I could tell you, ladies and gentlemen. That is all I could tell you. A father of three was shot and, um, sorry. An autopsy revealed at 68 year old Primrat's seat died with a intra, intra cranial injuries after he was attacked at a bar in Pinal on Sunday. All right? Intracranial pressure is usually caused by a brain swelling inside the confined area of the skull as a result of the injury. The pressure can damage brain tissues and can prevent blood flow to the brain to deprive it from oxygen it needs to function. So he got a blow. Around three to this, uh, in fact, so he had a, a, a pressure, it, uh, something, a uh, Yeah. So is it? 
So the sin is not to attack and kill now. But you see the autopsy is saying something different now. The sin is a pressure usually called by brain swelling inside the confine. But that could be from a blow. That could be from a blow. So we need a second autopsy. We need to get Professor Hubert Daisley. And you know I know Professor Hubert Daisley. No, there's an, another photograph of him and I. You know, speak to Professor Huber Daisley. But nevertheless, if we didn't have no incident at the bar, but I can't understand how we get that just so. And if he's suffering high blood pressure, I don't understand. But I tell you, it's all kind of, it's, it's all kind of weird things, you know. I remember, I know, I tell, as I tell you, I know Professor Huber Daisley well. This was sometime before the carnival. We had gone to, um, we were at the Hyatt, just relaxing. Yeah, you know? And um, that's it. So pay attention to what's going on there. Also, the body of a man who was found shot to death in Aruka on Saturday has been identified as 48, 49 year old Joel Rory Graves. Graves' body was identified by his relatives earlier today. Um, and this, you know, this really rocked this place here because this thing real sad, you know, you know what they did this man, they beat this man, they shoot this man and take his car and all kind of thing, you know, and as a result of that, they went and, co and they went and committed robberies and murders and thing with the man car, you know. This real sad, you know, this is a real sad thing, you know. This is a real sad thing. You know, we just, uh, yeah, but let's be honest, you know, we just uh, lose your relative because time coming up here, the end of the year, almost done, September done, September finish, September, Sept uh, September finish. September finish and just now will be Christmas, just now going to be old years, just now going to be Boxing Day. And you know what just to lose a relative like around this time? And we have already had so far 424 persons dead in this country. And this is the latest here. The body of a man was who was found shot to death in Aruka on Saturday has been identified as 49-year-old Joel Rory Graves. Graves' body was identified by his relatives earlier today. His vehicle was reportedly used in two recent murders before it was found burnt. Around 3.30 on Saturday, officers received a report of a lifeless body along Khan Drive in Arima, Old Road, Aruka. A team of officers led by Inspector Green responded and went to the location where they discovered the man's body with a gunshot wound to the face. The officer then summoned the DMO to the scene who viewed the body, made their pronouncement, and ordered its removal pending. Just imagine 49 years, they shoot the man in his head, in his face, and take the man's vehicle and go on with it. You know? That is the level of lawlessness. That is the level of monsters that we have in this country here. And nobody is doing nothing about it. Absolutely nothing. Because everybody who, who is in a particular position, they have fancy cameras, they live in high gated communities, they have... They have guards. They, they can afford to protect themselves and their immediate family. Remember, you remember a man's immediate family is always his, the, the safety of a man's immediate family is, all, is always his concern, eh? always his concern. And when that has been compromised, that is different. That is, that is a serious thing. And that has been compromised. Now, the safety of your family has been compromised because they are allowing the gangs, the criminals, to take over. Just imagine they shoot a man in his face and take his car. Come on, could any one of his relatives call me right now? Could anybody who's Rory family, who's Rory family, give me a call because I really want to hear from you. Open up the lines, the number is 671-4062. Anybody who has information, yeah, on Joel Rory, call me now, please. I want to talk to somebody. I want to find out how, how, how he really ended up there. How he really, how, 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 how does he ended up there? I know I had to go to a couple of places today, but I was so busy, I had some things to do, and I was in Port of Spain today. So, we're going to leave it for tomorrow. And then we, we've seen an increase in, 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 in arena. So the people fed up with this, people fed up, people fed up. Just imagine, this man just get gone down just so the Teddy man can't go on with it, you know. 
Go on with it, and I'll go on with it. Go on with it. Hmm. Trying to get onto a relative. Hmm. Anybody saw the interview that they did? They, they asked the Spanish girl that going up for, for, some, for some beauty contest. Anybody saw that? But the, the, the woman I even know the woman even know, we even know who's the prime minister and the opposition leader. I said, this place crazy and them representing Trinidad. Boy, I tell you something really back to front. You know, I, I'll tell you this now. The prettiest set of women in Trinidad, ladies and gentlemen, and Tobago, is sometimes in these rural areas, you know, sometimes not really in the forefront, but sometimes in just normal communities, you know. And sometimes these agencies and them that are responsible for getting beauty and being in charge of the beauty pageant and whatnot, you know, they, they, they pick their people, but sometimes it have, it have girls in different communities in Trinidad and Tobago, nationals, our nationals, whether they be African, whether they be Indian, whether they be, whether they be Caucasian, Trinbegonian people could give anybody a run out, out in their pageant, you know. Normal, normal, they just might not have the funding, they might not, they, 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 their family might be the who is who to get them up in front, but at the end of the day, they could give any woman out there a run, but just to have nobody, as they say, to showcase them, to showcase, to showcase, that's the right word, to showcase their beauty and their talent. I watch this thing with this girl, this thing crazy, you know. Some, the, the guy on radio asking us something and she says she's ready to go, yes? Where's the watch words? Why is that a laugh? Because they say, we think that's easy. And, and it, you know, it might sound funny, but they're joking. And they're just, they're just papi showing we out here. And I tell them, watch me, we become the laughing stock of the, of the, of the country, you know, of the, of, the, of the Caribbean. We're the laughing stock, you know. What, what are their threats? I wonder, and I you know, just writing about her, and just, boy, what are their threats? Nobody not on her? No, who on her? Well, invite her to come to my show if she wants to come to the show. Invite her. Call her, the agency who's responsible, get her. We like to get her on the show to ask her some questions. You know, we, you know she's pretty. We, I, I saw she have the, um, what do you call this thing again? The free what? No, the next thing. No. Huh. <laughs> the, um, what do you call it? Friend something, what? Where somebody could see a uh, well nude, well nude business now. Only, only fan, yeah. See, she have a only fan thing there. Yeah. Why this place crazy? Yes, this place just crazy. This place just crazy. This place, why I ain't bringing down nobody, but I just tell you, that's how I think, you know, that, that sometimes you see all these years and going up, but they, 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 might have, they might be family of influence and have all the money to sponsor the, to sponsor the relative and how can everybody can come in and this one and they might have a little influence with certain pageant persons and things. But brother man, it's having them rural community like Brasso and parts of Tobago and parts of Trinidad and parts of South and Port of Spain and Rima Shagonas and different community. Them girls could get a run in her. Could get them a stink run in a two piece in her. But they never had nobody to showcase them and it's sad. It's sad. It's just sad, that is all. It's just sad. But this thing with this this man with his body thing boy, where this man's body was found. Great, but Graves, Joel Rory Graves, 49 years, somebody just shoot you in your face and take your car, commit murders, and they find it, they throw you on the side of the road. If anybody has any information, any, any information, why anybody, if any relatives right now could call me and let me know. Once we get it, as I tell you, you know, once we get the information, if you don't want to give us the information, it has nothing we can do, but once we get the information, we will go after them. It's going to take like a rocket scientist to know that, 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 I wouldn't go after them. We will go after them once we get the information. Because it, it, it's serious. It is very, very serious. It's terrible. It's sad. There is somebody father. There is somebody cousin. There is somebody son. There is somebody uncle. Oh, my God. And it's like, it's just going on. It's just going on. It's just going on. And every day, asking them, well, only just give us six months and they call. Watch me, I want to work with all you. I mean, we have the support of the police, but I want to do more because we get getting so much information. We're getting so much information. And 
It just, I don't know. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to report to you about the one-year boy who was hit by a stray bullet at his home in Asakura has been ident identified as Jose Nunez. All right, the little boy has been identified, watch. A nice little boy like that. He lied down in the bed. He even learned to walk. He even, just imagine, a wrong night. Let me, let me tell you this story now, because we, we, got, we have a photo of him. Nice little boy like that. Around 9.50, the child father was reportedly in the yard supervising the two older children and Nunez who were playing while their mother was in the kitchen. Shortly after, several loud explosions were heard and the one-year-old was found lying in a pool of blood crying. The parents realized the baby had been hit by a stray bullet and immediately called the neighbor for help. When they contacted the emergency health service, when they arrived at the scene, they conveyed the child to the hospital where they received a med medical treatment for gunshot wounds which entered through his left thigh and exited the left buttocks. His left thigh. His left thigh and, and exited, through, exited the left buttocks near his anus. What madness is this boy? What madness is this? And it's not a matter, he's a non-national. It's not a matter that, it's not a matter there's a child. Nobody will wish this on any child, nobody. Just imagine a bullet. And let me tell you this, CID investigators later you see report that a wrong dark time of the incident. Here, here I went on. Unknown men dressed in dark clothing entered Lutu Trace. Is Lutu or Lutu? Lutu, Lutu Street through a track from Bongjo Road as Sokoro pointed a gun in the air and fired a number of shots before fleeing the scene. Crime scene investigation. So what happened? Gunmen entered a street and were just shooting up the place. Just like that. And imagine, yeah, I want you to know, a little one-year-old child, a one-year-old child, the bullet exited, his, entered his thigh, his thigh, exited by the buttocks, by his, by his anus. Just imagine that. Just imagine that. You don't, know what, you don't know what muscle, you don't know what has been damaged, you don't know. Boy, that thing's sad. What does little child, remove the CG bar now. And put up that one picture, remove the CG bar. Let them see this little child. Just imagine that. Look at this little child. That little child. Look at this, how sad it is. In the little onesie. You really think this is a nice place? This could never be a nice place. And we need to go after these people. Just go after them, go after them, go after them. And every day we ask you, give us the information that we could go after them. Give us the information. And that could be your children, you know? that could be your children going to school. Gunman shooting up all our body places. And what time we get shots by the school? So you have that, you have, you, have, you, have, you have that case, ladies and gentlemen. And the 49-year-old Rory. Shoot, he shot in his face. His body dumped in a rima over in the old road. And they take he can't go on and commit other murders. What is that? What is this? People getting paid for murders or something? The more, the, the more murder you do, the more rank you can get? No, man, it can't be like that. It can't be like that. And me coming, let me come, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't believe in a mantra coming up with no show, put down the gun. All you put down the gun. Put down the gun? No, don't put it down. When police come by and people come by, you know you hold your gun in your hand. Are yours? Put down the gun. Bandit, all you put down the gun. We pass that stage, you know. All that, do this kind of stupidness with crime march and this one marching in the community. And this, boy, we passed that stage. This place passed march and Josie and thing and saying, well, we, pass, we a march against crime and okay. But boy, better you go in a band, sit down and drink rum or go and play golf or do some kind of thing or go and play cricket or some kind of thing. Because all that time making no sense. That, that time making no sense right now. That time making no sense. What you need to do is to go after them. That's what's going on. It's water, mother, and flower. It's talk done. It, it comes at time, even as a parent. Even as a parent, they're dealing with a difficult child. You're fed up talk. You're just fed up talk. Time to put them out or something. You have a, you have a, 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 a man in your house, a, a, a child in your house, an adult, giving you trouble, he's cussing you, he wants to beat you. You're fed up talk. Cousin talk to him, pundit talk to him, priest talk to him, imam talk to him, everybody talk to him. God and all we talk to him and all kind of things. But here, listening, just get, just get up out there and say, well, talk done. Get garbage, my pocket goes and throw it by the road. Go your way. And sometimes, sometimes it comes that time where talk done. And talk done long time in this country. Long time, long time. All that talk, 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 and, 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 um, and retreat and all kind of thing. You go and retreat. Spend up with money. You eat and drink the best. Somebody even a Milo in all the pan. 
And you have a tea bag in all the box. Everybody living up the life, living up the life. No, talk done, talk done. We want a group of people to go after them. I ain't saying vigilante justice or not. But after you have to go after them, you have to pursue them, you have to smoke them out, you have to drag them out of the homes, drag them out of the little dungeon, the little holes, the little, the, the little shocks that, that, that they have occupied and deal with them. You have to do that because they're dealing with you. They're dealing with the innocent people out there. It's 420, it's 400, how much people? 434 people, 400, 400, sorry, 424 persons dead in this country. Well, with that, he will tell you about, about, well, among that is criminals and persons shot and banded and, and this one shoot and shoot out and all kind of thing. But it have innocent people. Look at, look at this boy from Shogun. What's his name again? Um, who got shoot, who got shoot by, by, by a Friday? A Friday. What's his name again? No man. Let me write Kuno, write, write, write some in some road here. You fattish fella now. And he said, don't home. He said, don't home. And, and, and the gunman just come and, and just shoot him. Just so, and he come. Chubby. Well, I know Chubby. We, we call him Chubby. We, every, everybody know Chubby. You know Chubby? Know my aunt and everybody. Is there only somebody tell me about what it was? You know, I know Chubby. When I, I say, but you really know Chubby? I meet Chubby in a party already. Chubby really come and talk to me because I know Chubby. I know Chubby. I know people who know Chubby. I know cousins who know Chubby. I ain't going to call no names, but it's sad. Chubby home, Chubby home, sit down in the house, and people just shoot Chubby just so. How that is possible? How that is possible? How that is possible? And we're not doing anything. We have to do something. They want games here, you know. They want games to protect you, you know. Look at a one year old child. Forget the next Spanish girl we're going up. That is not our business. But this little child in the home with the mother and, thing, and the father, the mother in the kitchen. You understand? Children playing in the yard. Some fella just come up a street and shooting up and sh shooting up the place just so. And he had one, a, a, a shot in his thigh, exit through the buttocks near to the anus. You know what kind of damages? You don't know if that have lifetime injuries. Boy, that thing just crazy. Look, I can show you. Where Chubby? Show me the video with Chubby. Look at Chubby, watch. Chubby home. Watch, car pulled in by Chubby. Look, Chubby, sit down. You in your house. You thinking what to eat. You thinking, man, just running, just so. Take your money. Do what you have to do. He get a bullet. One shot. Look, one. And them just run. Take away gold chain. Take a little money and thing and gone. And gone. And as I tell you, as I tell you, I did my own investigation. Watch. Watch. Imagine all the time a man alive. This man alive. This man alive, watch all that time, this man, Chubby alive. Car run out. What is this? You're not on the road. You, this is not a bar. You're not in a bar. You didn't look for a fight. You didn't look for, no, you didn't pursue nobody. Look, he couldn't tell some relative. Look, they now shoot me. Look, they now shoot me. Come fast. Oh, God, he raised up in Jersey. And two days after, Chubby died. Like, that could ever be right? Does this, does this, uh, uh, I mean, the, is that something to be alarmed about? You home in your house? You gonna eat your little food? Call the call the ambulance, can't get shoot the bullet inside. Look his phone, watch, he gonna call somebody. All the time he alive, he died. He died a day or two after. It's sad. And that is why I not coming with no show here to tell people put on the gun and let me march from San Fernando. Or they could march from here straight up to the Caribbean. Nobody had taken on all here. Criminals not taking you on. Them laughing at you. You can march from here straight down to Haiti. March and by water, you take a boat and you, you, you walk again. And they may take it. That, that long time thing. That long time thing. They must be pursued relentlessly. They must be, be pursued and dragged out of their homes and deal with them. Just so they're dealing with the innocent law-abiding citizens, you police must go, the group, whoever all they assigned, must go and deal with them. I know not police, but I can tell you one thing. The information that every day we furnish them with. On point. It is on point, point, point. Every day when people go to that website and give us information, 
We don't stick. And that's why I tell her, why you up the front? I'm not intimidated. You come after me? Well, we have a road where everybody can go down our road, you know? Everybody can go down our road. I tell you, that big man thing, everybody can go down our road. Stop the show, take all the lights, and we go go down our road. Everybody can go down our road. We just have to go down a certain road. That is what I tell you, no, 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 me keep most things about that. But why? But why? Why, why it have to be like this? Too much of innocent people being murdered every day. Let's take a fast break. Get ready for a big September as kids head back to school. Score amazing deals on all your back to school must haves. Get Nesquik 3 for 19.95, Snuggle Napkins 3 for 19.95, Erin Farm Chicken Bologna 2 for 19.95, Catelli Ketchup 3 for 19.95, Eve Roll Mushrooms 2 for 19.95, Choco Listo Crunchy 2 for 19.95, Santa Rosa Vienna Sausage 4 for 19.95, Nestle's Full Cream Milk 2 for 24.95, and Borg Yugo Yogurt 4 for 19.95. Mabel's Peanut Butter, 2 for $19.95. Showcase your musical talent by entering our Christmas Jingle Contest. You can win $5,000 by creating a catchy jingle with the lines. Or oh, what fun it is to win $300,000 in prizes. Email your entry to marketing at sspassad.com before September 30th, 2023 for your chance to win. Located in Mayaro and Rio Claro, SNS Passat Supermarket, loyal to local. Are you in search of affordable, high-quality wrought iron hollow section steel sheets, wheels, banquet chairs, tables, aluminum stages, and more to elevate your next project? Look no further than Homeland Marketing. Located in Montreal, Chiquanas, Homeland Marketing, beautifying homes. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. Just imagine, our YouTube platform for 2022 has gained over 16 million views. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Now opened at our Montrose Shogunas branch, Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department, with a faster tire changer, the largest service bay to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium. Engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 3903196. What once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plants. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. Guess who's coming back to Shigwanis? your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, 
diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station 1. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. There is no better place to be than at Uprise Restaurant and Bar. Enjoy our drink specials, Carib Stag and Pilsner. Tequila shots and select cocktails, 5 for 100. Bottle specials also available, Johnny Walker, Vodka, Wine Talk and more. Free entry and no service charge, the vibe never ends at Uprise with our Friday night party, Saturday pump and live performances. Check out our daily menu for fantastic food. 62 Rodney Road in Devonshire Bonus, Uprise Restaurant and Bar. See you there! In today's fast-paced competitive job market, certification courses provide individuals with flexible and industry-relevant learning options. Increase your chances of employment with a certification course at CTS College. We have over 50 courses in business, IT, do-it-yourself or professional development to choose from, all developed by industry experts. Courses start as low as $200 and can be completed in as little as one day, allowing you to acquire the relevant skills you need quickly and affordably. Contact CTS College today to sign up. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, Gil, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, one ean.allen at gmail.com or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Enhance the space with Extreme Home and Tile Supply Limited. Get porcelain and ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, space spaces, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Bonus or call 299-3271 for more info. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, oneen.allen at gmail.com or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. In fact, um, I'm hearing about a, a man in Pinal that was found. Um, in fact, we don't know if this is the same person, Renald Mohammed. He's been identified as Renald Mohammed. I'm, I'm, well, the same Renald Mohammed, aka Douglas, the police find foul plane and seize the body and send it to forensic for autopsy. He was found dead in a, 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 a chicken pen late last night. If anybody has any information on, the, on this, apparently the owner said he saw him 10 1 o'clock in the pen, but he was there 10 o'clock. And the police was informed in the night the body was removed at 8 o'clock. Okay, but so, so we don't know, we don't know, we don't know. We just, all right, so anybody could tell me that this happened in, this happened in, in um, Penal Rock Road. They find him dead in a chicken pen last night. 
Somebody said he's been identified as Renal, Mo, Re, Renal Mohammed. If you have any information, get in contact with me. And that is what we're doing with the pop-ups and them, yeah? Okay, that is what we, as you're going to see your business, those who advocate. So where's the rest? Yeah, tell him I want it now, before they show up. He said he did it, he, but he said he did about 11. Huh? But he said he did about 11, that is what he said. I want more done. You like... See, so sometimes while we have the, the show going and we're doing documents and whatnot, put the pop-ups so people can see their business. You understand? Do the pop-ups. I want pop-ups every day. Every day. Everybody who advertise with us, while I'm doing other things or I'm speaking, whatever, throw a pop-up one time. What is this called thing? What is that? Yeah, what is that? Okay. Right. Great. Yeah, so do you do pop-ups all day? We used to long and do pop-ups. A man identified as Justin Ram Ramraj, Ram Ramjaj, an EMT Ramjag from the GMR Ambulance Services was found hanging at his home in Gosain Street in Pinal. <laughs> Lord Jesus. I wonder if this is the same case, boy. But, but this person giving us a different name. All right, so we don't know why, but, I say, but, but this is a suicide, eh? The same, with those, 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 those suspect foul play. <laughs> okay, but that's the, that is the price of a camera, man. That's nothing strange in that. It happens to journalists all over the world. So um, this guy here apparently committed suicide. Also, ladies and gentlemen, number 17,541, PC Stern, Sirata, and formerly attached to Shogunas Police Station, passed away on Tuesday. Also, unconfirmed reports that a man collapsed and died due to excessive heat on the St. Mary's Junction on Tuesday, 19th of September. And it's, really, it's been really, really hot out there. So we hear in the unconfirmed report that a man collapsed and died due to excessive heat on the St. Mary Junction. You know what I feel sorry for today? And, and, and the heat is terrible. It's like, I am outside, I am outside my house, and it's like you're, you're, you're smelling something burning. It's like you're smelling the heat, you're smelling it. Your pool drying up, you, you don't know, you don't know. It's like all kind of thing, all kind of thing. And, and um, the water going down fast. A lot of people who own us a pool complete thinking that the pool have a leak, but this time the water just evaporating because of the heat really, really fast. And um, we should have had something for, and, you know, and, look, and look how terrible it is right now. All this heat and no water in your house. You even have water to bathe because you're sweating, you're sweating, you're sweating. You even have water to bathe. Just imagine that. No water to bathe. You have water to flush your toilet. There are people around Trinidad and Tobago. Weeks now they are no water. Weeks they're begging like dog. They're paying. They're to pay this one. Who could pay? You feel every, you feel still find seven hundred and fifty dollars to get a, a truck bond water supply. You think that easy? I'm telling you, you could get it when you go down to somebody in what was that office? You swear, you swear that water belong to them. They really don't want to give it to you. Yeah, but, but you see them a tank. Not everybody has the comfort of having a thousand gallon tank and a big time pump or two tank and and whatnot. So when water go down, you know at least you have a pump to fill your tank and so. Not everybody has that comfort. So I'm just showing you what people go through. It, it, it's sad. What about children in schools that have no air condition? What about children in some of these schools that are that, that terrible? If, I mean, in, in this heat, the Ministry of Education should come out and say that because it's, it, it's terrible for some children where some of these schools and the government schools do have air condition. Air condition, I work in some of government offices. There is no air condition. No air condition. So you can imagine how poor people boiling. You can't, I can't even stand in the sun. I can't even stand in the sun. You have to be careful. Don't stand in the sun. Make sure and have, a, have, 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 you have, a, have on your sun block and do what you have to do. Why feel sorry because today I'm watching people selling water on the side of the road. That's when you're suffering, somebody's suffering more than you are. He's selling the water. You know what? Just to stand up in that, in, in that hot sun, 
selling water and told two bottles of water and this one ranking on you, this one driving a Range Rover, this one driving a Mercedes, this one feel like he them is the biggest thing in the world and turn in the face when they see you. And you with your little water selling, I tell you, boy, 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 it's easy. It just ain't easy. It just ain't easy. The heat, it's terrible. Tell it don't rank, all it don't rank. Also, a PE teacher was found unresponsive at St. Mary's College on Monday. You know, I, I didn't get a highlight this, but it's sad. This it was identified as 55-year-old Joel Garcia at about 5 p.m. person at the school when they discovered Garcia lying on the ground in a room on the western side of the main building. The police and paramedics were notified and Garcia was taken to the police in hospital where he was pronounced dead. No marks of violence and whatnot. So he collapsed at St. Mary's School. That is so sad. He's a PE teacher. I'm sure I'm so, so many people, I'm, you know, he must have, you know, tutored and, and, and showed them the sports and, you know, PE teacher, physical education thing. And boy, it's so sad, yes. It's very, really, really sad. Also, the, decompose, the decomposing body of a man was found in a room on Monday. The deceased has been identified as 68-year-old Michael Mayers of Roland Cleveland Street, Arima, at about 5.30 residents. Area got a foul stench coming from Myers' home and they attempt to call him, but nevertheless, how come we do have a cover shot of this? Huh? How come I do have a cover shot of this? How come? Anybody can tell us? Why? Yeah, but we still supposed to have a cover shot of this. We have a, we, we have a, a man who was found dead. And we suppose have a cover shot. You can't people just sitting down doing nothing. An elderly, wo an elderly woman died while the driver and a 10 year old boy were injured following a road traffic accident in San Fernando on Monday. The deceased was identified as an 88 year old woman. Really, really sad. Samincha Dabi Singh of Scotch Street, San Fernando. While the injured victim was identified as 70 year old Anjani Bistram and 10-year-old Raydan uh, Gopal. Around 4 p.m., Sumincha was in a grey Hyundai Tucson proceeding north along Papuri Road, Diamondville, Sampton, in company of Bistram, who was the driver and Raydan. While driving along the road, Bistram reportedly lost control of the vehicle and crashed into a steel gate and a concrete pillar of a house on the eastern side of the roadway. But you should have seen the accident. You should have seen how... You should have seen that accident. You should have seen that accident. That is a 88 year old woman wrapped up in the back seat. Wrapped up. So sometimes if you're sitting down in the back seat, please put on a seat belt. Please. Please put on a seat belt. Well, I, I believe that some of those, those cars in them have seat belts to the back. Please put on your seat belt if you're in the back. Also, ladies, in fact, when we come now, this is the this was the second fatal uh, accident that took place with in, in, in on Monday, eh? J just on Sunday, the 17th, the Jamaican national died following a road traffic accident in Mayaro. He was identified as Simon Smith, who, who resides in Coconut Drive, Ottawa Village, Mayaro. Smith reported driving a grey Mazda BT50 along Union Food Crop Road when he lost control and crashed into the light pole. Residents who heard the commotion contacted the police and emergency health services. However, when they arrived at the scene, Smith had already succumbed to his injuries. So, a 31-year-old died in a road traffic accident. And let me tell you something. For this year, 70 persons, 70 persons have lost their lives in road traffic accidents for the year. Let's take a fast break and you're going to see more pop-ups as we go. Passage to Asia Restaurant presents All You Can Eat Friday and Saturday Night Buffet from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. We feature a new menu every week. Enjoy a wide variety of delicious, authentic Indian, Chinese and Thai dishes, including our vegan options. Indulge in our unlimited desserts. Only $2.75 per person, all taxes included. St. I Street, Shagonis. Call 672-2701 for reservations. Attention all bakers, double spenders and roti makers. Try our high quality bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Shikwicho Limited at 665-3336 or 4808715 or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Shikwicho Limited, quality you can trust. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place is always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. 
It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I just to let you know, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley sent a letter to the opposition leader, Kamala Pasad Bissessa, to address the crime situation in Trinidad and Tobago. Rowley asked Ms. Bissessa to state for her proposal for crime fighting solution would be discussed at a later date. Let me tell you something. Let me be honest with you here. With Kamala intervention, without Kamala intervention, you are the head of the Security Council. Your job, this is not like you just come in office. How You have been in office since how long, 2015? Yeah, somewhere around there. Since 2015, right? You're going to be going to a second election. All this calling, you, just, you, you have all the equipment, you have all the mechanism, to deal with the criminal elements. You understand? With her proposal, without her proposal, you should be showing the nation what you can do, what your government can do. All this puppy show thing where you're telling her to send a letter and send a proposal, nobody award that. Nobody don't want to be past that stage. What you, what, what, tell me what you're doing. This don't have to be political. You suppose, as the Prime Minister, to have a say. If you're supposed to have a Minister of National Security who understands what's going on in this country, and not only tell me it's a killing in America, it's a killing in Canada, it's a killing here, so what? But that same individual has three vehicles behind him. He has a big entourage. Everybody have heavily armed, high-powered guns when they come out, when he walk out. Okay, you're the Minister of National Security, but at the end of the day, what about the normal man? So you tell about, no, 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 we passed that stage, we just passed that stage. We passed that, we, we passed that stage, you passed that stage of, of, of letting people, of just, I call in this one, and, and that, no, I got to call this one and tell her, I know what I have to do. I got to call this one and ask them how to run the show, or what to do with a, what to do with a camera, you passed that stage, as a stage, you passed that stage. You have been here long enough to know how to operate a camera, how to operate master control, how to do CGs, how to do pullbacks. I can be calling this one and that one. You learn and you do what you have to do. But we have passed that stage. They have been around for so long. They have been around for so long. And 
They don't need to do that. What you need to do, and, do, and don't blame nobody because you'll be just looking for a scapegoat and say, well, to, to come now and say, well, you know, Kamala didn't give us, Kamala don't want to meet her now, but everybody will come and say, Kamala, not, Kamala, not, um, she don't care about people's safety and crime. What she had to discuss, there's nothing to discuss. With or with, 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 because he has the majority, with or without her, he could do what he want. So let's be real. So all that talk and two of them talking, and that's just mama guy thing. And if she might say something, and that, that's an ex-political, something politically to discuss in the, in, 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 in the public domain. Go after the criminals. That is all we want. Go after them. It's nobody to talk and talk to this one. Don't talk to nobody. Go do and do what you have to do. Do what you have to do. As the head of the security council, do what you have to do. When I see a taxi driver could get murdered, when I see a little, a little one-year-old child playing in the yard and somebody shooting up the community and a bullet passed through his tie, passed through the buttocks near the anus. No, when I see a man like Chubby sitting down in the house, sitting down, sitting down downstairs in the house, and gunman just run in his house and beat him up and rob him and go on the way and shoot him one shot. He showed his family and them not in a couple of in a, in a, a day or a day or two after. Them go have a week. That is a secret that nobody can talk to. We, we, we don't want to know. It's like they're not talking. We done talking. Talking done. You reach a point in time where you're fed up talk. No talk. They're not talk again. It's action. 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 We have passed the talking stage. The moment, the, mo the, mo the moment we see the murder toll reach 100, talk done. The moment this 1.4 million people, we have a, 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 a 200 murder toll for the year. Talk done. How much thousands of people, how much thousands of people since this government in power have died? How much the highest murder toll we saw under this administration? What are we going to talk? Look, the year even finished yet, ladies and gentlemen. The year even finished yet. And me, I'm, I'm Mama Guy in here. I'm Mama Guy in here. I'm Mama Guy in here. Right? Look, last year was 4 to 10. What talk again? So what, what, what the honorable pro, uh, opposition leader coming to tell you? If last year the murder toll was 4 to 10, and this and, and today is 4 24, we had to talk. It's had nothing to talk, 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 talk. It had people, you know, it had people like meeting and things. As I was telling you, well, I was telling you what day it was, it had people who like meeting and like to come with, 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 with book and, and take down notes and ask questions and they're very studious and. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, we done pass that. The mere idea, what we gonna write down? Okay, let me do what we have to do. So then all this meeting, just spinning top of big companies that people like to hold a meeting. Every morning there's a meeting, a meeting here, and a meeting here. I don't want to, I don't want to set a meeting here, you know, all the people here. We don't want to set a meeting, but well, they might come out and sell a cost and on and thing and just, just pull up everybody and, and that is it. And I done with that. Me and a long meeting and everybody diary and the writing and the, we hey, don't have that. This is space. This is space. Outside there is space, outside in the world is space. S space. There's no time for no meeting. This is water more than flower. People dying, taxi driver dying, mother dying, this one dying, everybody dying. We're going to talk, talk. We're going to talk again. Time to mash up the dance, that is all. Time to deal with them. That is all, that is all, that is all, that is all. Also, the Minister of Finance, Colin Inwood, confirmed that the budget statement for the uh, financial year 2024 will be presented in Parliament on the 2nd of October. We're going to carry it live also. The 2nd of October is going to be... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and also, I'm, I'm sure you are aware that, that nine front-end supervisors, nine, nine front-end supervisors, these are just news I didn't carry for, for a day or two, so I'm taking it to you now. Nine front-end supervisors were terminated from Massey's stores on Thursday, several weeks after Massey's, after Massey holding declared a 20% increase. The Contractors and General Workers Trade Union President, the Beak, said the supermarket chain dismissed nine single mothers last week despite ongoing talk. The supervisors worked at Diego Martin, St. Augustine, Maribola, Gulfview, Westmore, and Mocha, Alice Glen, San Juan, and Maribola. The union claimed that the supermarket reviewed its operation and determined that it had 67 surplus management employees suggesting that the company may seek to each 58 more. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. You hear them, yeah? The, they have a, a what? Review this operation and determine it had a, a, a 68, 67 surplus management. But you ever think, Massey, you ever think, you ever think that this surplus management, they are the ones responsible for you making money? And then again, these people have no redress. 
No, we just, nobody does stand up for them. Nobody does stand up for them like a government or the Ministry of Labor get involved and whatnot. How oh, and we have Ministry of Labor, but the Ministry of Labor will go behind the little small man. They'll go by the, behind the little store clerk. They'll go by this one. When, when you send up this one, they go by Ministry of Labor. Ministry of Labor want to do this, want to do that. They're sending all kind of officers. Why do they send officers there? Why, why, why do they do that? Why do they do that? You see, that, that is our fear there. They'll go after these small businessmen and them. They'll go after them. Ministry of Labor will go after them. But when Massey send up workers, Massey now declared 20%, 20, whatever they, what they said, 20% um, percent increase in profit. Excellent, excellent. Congratulations, congratulations. I'm mashing up your, your, your supermarket. I'm not a problem with your supermarket. I know persons, I know, see, I know, I know of the officials from Massey. I know them. I've met them at functions already. In fact, I'm supposed to visit their branch at, at Chagona's in Brentwood. No problem. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sometimes you want to kick out people, but sometimes when you want nothing and when, and when you was trying to make money, that people ride with you, you know. Sometimes you have to touch certain things you just don't do. You just kind of, you know. But when you make profit, you realize we have a, a surplus, a surplus, well, a soup, 67 surplus, Surplus management employees suggest that the company may seek to return 58 more. After a profit of God, it's, necessary, it's really necessary. Let's be honest, it's, re it's really necessary to send home people when you make a profit of God. Come now, come now. Let them just ride the way for a year or two and see how the thing running now. Just to hold them back now, please. Just to hold them back. It's not necessary. Because you make a profit. Okay, you make a profit. You're making a little money. But at least you're putting food on people's table. Is that people I could send home from here? But I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it because... What is that? What are you saying there? What is that? Oh. Take care, take care you fall under the surplus, you know. All right, so we're going to take a fast break. When we, when we come back, we'll continue. Come to light in a relaxing staycation at the beautiful Serenity Hills Palace. Nestled in the heart of South Trinidad, you can enjoy quiet, scenic views. We provide spacious, fully furnished, air-conditioned rooms with accommodations for up to 15 persons. Enjoy a day at the luxurious poolside Fully equipped with an outdoor kitchen, barbecue grill, poolside bar, and lounge areas. Overnight and day passes are available to fit your staycation needs. Find us on Facebook, call or WhatsApp 1917-239-5799 to book your stay. India in Style Expo has declared its final extension. Located just behind KFC next to Fun Station Laramie, will definitely be closing on Monday, 2nd October. South Trinidad, shop for Ganesh Budsal, Navratri, and Diwali. Enjoy delicious vegetarian Indian food. India in Style Expo, located behind KFC next to Fun Station Laramie from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. We're also open on weekends. Bollywood Garba Night at the Mid Center Mall Dome on the 14th of October. Garba, Bollywood Music and Dance Festival. Best three dancers win big tickets for flat $100. Starts 7 p.m. until late. Mark the date, Sunday, 14th October, first time ever in Trinidad. Bollywood Garba Night on the 14th of October at the Mid Center Mall Dome. Brush Up Our Future was an amazing initiative by Project Hope Children's Foundation that focused on transforming the learning environment for primary schools in the Nariva Mayaro district. We are proud to partner with Project Hope. This project aimed to revitalize classrooms, uplift the spirit of students and teachers, and create a more conducive space for learning and growth. Great initiative by Project Hope. As we journey through 19 schools in the community, Project Hope's mission has been to transform ordinary classrooms into extraordinary havens of creativity where every brushstroke was a step towards a brighter future. With the kind support from our sponsors and volunteers, we hope to ignite the flames of curiosity and passion among our young learners. Thank you, Project Hope. 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 
Project Hope would like to say a special thanks to all our sponsors and volunteers for making this classroom makeover a success. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show, and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services, and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Lequa Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience, and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand, and more. Equipment rental available. 20-ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps, and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Moda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. Like we have to go because this cricket thing starting just now and everybody getting tizzic. Everybody, everybody getting tizzic. Um, a man was arrested moments after shooting another man in a, in a Ruka on Saturday. The victim was identified as Joel, uh, Joel Claxton from 8th Street, Mount Lambert. Around 2 30, Claxton was driving his Nissan Note in the company of a woman. I'll have to run till after because here we're going on people after the cricket, they, they, they just go back and watch the show. That's it, that's so I, I can't do that. The occupants of uh, the victim was identified 28 year old Joel Claxton from 8th Street. Just a couple of minutes around 2 30, Claxton was driving his Nissan Note in the company of a woman along Eastern Main Road, Aruka, when a blue vehicle pulled up alongside him and the occupants of the vehicle then began shooting, hitting Claxton multiple times. All right, so a man was arrested after shooting another man in Aruka. Also, a Valencia man was shot while attending his brother's wake in Santa Cruz. The victim was identified as Brent, Brent Carrington of Valencia. Carrington was at his brother's David C. Wake at Sam Boko in Santa Cruz when gunmen approached and opened fire on him before they fled. The police were notified and Carrington was taken. So again, this man gone to the brother wake and get shot and all too. That is what is happening in this country. Bre um, also, ladies and gentlemen, 22-year-old David C. of Plantation Valencia was shot and killed while lying in front of his yard in Valencia on Wednesday. That is his brother. That is when his brother was killed. His brother, the wake, the, the wake that this one went to, that is for David C. Remember, David C. was killed on Wednesday, the 6th of September, 2023. He was lying in his yard in Valencia. Now the brother, now Brent Carrington, gone to the wake, and he gets shot and all too. Also, but he's but he's critical. Yeah, he's critical. He's critical. He's critical. He was shoot, He was treated for gunshot wound to the hand. Also, a 40-year-old man was shot and wounded outside his home in Valencia. Around 9.35, the victim was reportedly arriving at his residence at Emman Lane when he heard a series of loud explosions. Shortly after, he felt a burning sensation to his chest, back and realized he had been shot. The victim then collapsed to the ground and crawled into his neighbor's yard where he raised an alarm. The police and paramedics were contacted and officers led by WPCC NAD, PC Morgan and PC Williams responded and took the injured man to Sandy Grandy Hospital where he was treated and listed in a stable condition. Also, 29 -year -old, a 29-year-old soldier was reportedly shot in the, at the Tunapuna on Monday. In Tunapuna on Monday. Around 9.30, the victim was driving south along Vincent Street 
when he heard several loud explosions behind his vehicle. The man became fearful for his life and drove to the Tunapuna police station, where he observed a bullet hole in his back windscreen glass, spoiler, back bomber plate, and back tire. A team of officers led by PC Kelly responded and went to the scene of the shooting where they found and seized three spent 9mm shells. So as a soldier was going home, a 29-year-old soldier was going home in Tunapuna and they shoot up his car while he was in it. Also, a security officer was shot during a robbery at the Kunopia Secondary School on Sunday. Armed suspect reportedly broke into the school and confronted the lone MTS guard who was on duty. The suspect then allegedly fired gunshots at the victim before tying him up. The assailants then made their way into the main staff room and other classroom where they stole a number of items before fleeing the scene. A report was made and look at MTS security guard working so hard, but they had no money to get, no back pain, nothing. Nothing, no, 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 thank you. That is a no thank. All MTS got to be treated like dog, like dog. Imagine that all MTS got, imagine you there, donkey ears, and people now coming, and you and you and, and you and the people who now coming getting the same salary. You think that, that could be right? Could that be right? That can't be right. Also, an 18 year old boy was chopped multiple times about the body in Palo Seco on Sunday. Around 7 30, the victim was lying in his neighbor's gallery along Beach Road with a group of friends when he was confronted by two men who were armed with cutlasses. Upon seeing such, the victim attempted to flee. However, the suspect caught up with the 18 year old and dealt him several chops to his head, arms, and knees. The suspect then made their escape, and the police and paramedics were notified. The team of officers, led by PC Ramdas, responded and took the to the San Fernando Hospital. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man is warded in serious condition after he was stabbed in Curep on Sunday, the 17th of September. The 37 year old man was reportedly standing near Transit Mall when he was confronted by a man armed with a knife. The suspect then stabbed the victim several times and he torso before fleeing the scene. The man raised an alarm and passed by notified the police and emergency health services who arrived at the scene and took him to mount up medical complex. So he like so he outside the transit the transit mall, just waiting, standing up a man running with an event and started stabbing him up. That is what is going on here. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a sentence outpatient has been charged with the murder of his father, David Gopi, when he appeared before a Kuva magistrate earlier today. 35 year old Scott Gopi of Freeport was charged with the offense after officer received instructions from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution. Just to let you know, the, the, the man who allegedly chopped his father to death has been charged with murder. On Sunday, the 17th of September 2023, Scott chopped his father and family pet dog to death at their home in Grand Trace Extension, Boca, Bocaro, Freeport. Around 4 a.m., PC Tull and PC Ramdin of the Freeport CID received a report of a man armed with a cutlass in the Bocaro area. When they arrived at the scene, they met with Gopi's wife, who informed them that their son was armed with a cutlass inside the house. She told the officer that around 3 30, she was asleep in her room when she was awoken by loud noise. When she got up to investigate, she observed her 34 year old son, mentally unstable son, standing in front of her door with a cutlass in hand and blood dripping from his body and clothes. The suspect then attempted to attack her. However, she ran back into her room and locked the door and contacted the police. The responding officer then broke down the door at the side of the house and entered when they discovered Gopi's body on his bed with multiple chop wounds. They also found the family pet dog dead and, ch and with chop injuries to the back. So the son has been charged with murder. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a man was charged for the murder of his girlfriend, nephew, five-year-old Shaquille Williams, when he appeared before a Port of Spain magistrate. Again, a man was charged for the murder of his girlfriend's nephew, five-year-old Shaquille Williams, when he appeared before a Port of Spain magistrate on Monday, the 18th of September. The suspect was identified as 30-year-old Jovan Fraser, a.k.a. Geico, of Dulé Lanes, El Socorro. He was remanded into custody in order to reappear before the next court next month, before court next month. On Saturday, 2nd of September, William was found unresponsive in the care of his aunt at her home in Dulé Lane, El Socorro. He was subsequently taken to Mongto by a relative where he was pronounced dead. The police were notified. So ladies and gentlemen, a man has been charged with the murder of his girlfriend's nephew, five-year-old Shaquille Williams. So. The girlfriend, man, has been charged with the girlfriend nephew's murder, five-year-old. Also, two men appeared before an Arima magistrate and were charged with the murder of Joshua Tony, 
who was shot in, the, in Maloney Gardens on August 27. The suspects were identified as Dwayne O'Brien of Arima and 18-year-old Jordan Campbell of Lavantil. Both men were charged with the offense when they appeared before the Arima Magistrate Court on Friday, the 8th of September. On Sunday, 27th of August, 21-year-old Joshua Tony of Maloney with, was with a group of persons at Building 7 Maloney Gardens when three armed men exited a motor car vehicle and started to shoot, started shooting at the group. Tony sustained gunshot injuries and was taken to the Arima Health Facility where he was treated and later transferred to Monktop Medical where he succumbed to his wounds on Wednesday 30th. So again, two persons have been charged for that murder. Also a man, ladies and gentlemen, was granted 200,000 bail after he was charged with sexual penetration of a 10-year-old 10-year-old child when he appeared before the Shagona's Magistrate Court. The suspect, Daryl Brahau, Brahau, is Brahau? Brahau was ordered to pay 400, uh, was, was, sorry, was ordered to stay 400 meters from the child at all times and as, well, they're saying, that, they're saying that this is the individual, we can't confirm, but this is the picture circulating all over, right? And he's at all times and has to relocate to Brazil Village in Arima, where he's not allowed to return to, to Box Gardens in Warrenville, Kunupia, where the victim resides. So a man has been charged with sexual penetration of a 10-year-old child when he appeared before. But this is the, the photo I see circulating and whatnot. All right, so come back to me. Also, two men, two, two men jointly charged with the abduction of a woman from her beach home on Monday was denied bail while his accomplice was granted his accomplice was granted bail in the sum of 350,000. The suspects were identified as 28-year-old Zalim Hussein and 18-year-old Enrique Gonzalez of Bish. Yeah. Both men virtually appeared before I wonder if this is the same man who would get a charge in March, boy. Two of men jointly charged with adopting, adopting a woman. Bring back that tomorrow for me. Don't bring back that now. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Out of time. We're going to be back tomorrow. This is Ian Allen. Have a wonderful night. What's up me on 294 to all of our international viewers and whatnot. We're going to be back tomorrow. I know we finish a little early today, but we're going to be back tomorrow to tell you what's going on. We have a lot of things on this rundown to tell you. Okay, have a wonderful night. What's up me? Go to my website. Keep advertising. As you can see, I love the pop-ups. There are going to be more pop-ups. Everybody who advertising, we're going to have pop-ups to them. This is Ian Allen. Have a wonderful night. Good